I'm depending on your support. Oh, you know you can do that. Yes, I do. Well, how's things with your stage line? Not so good. They've destroyed four coaches already. This is the last one on the line. The scoundrels. Too bad your father isn't alive. He knew how to deal with stagecoach bandits. Oh, uh, did you run into any trouble on this trip? Well, not so far. And if we get by the next relay station, we'll be safe. Oh, yeah, yeah, the next. That's where most of the trouble has been happening, isn't it? The next station, yes. Well, I wish you a pleasant journey. Well, aren't you riding with us? No, I, I thought of some more ranchers around here that I might call on. Deacon, you can't fool me. You're afraid, aren't you? Uh, 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 me? Yes, you. Uh, no, madam, no, never, never. Oh. Throw yourself in, Deacon. Uh, yes, all right. All right. It beats me why we have to always be going places. What's eating you this time? Well, for the tenth time, I'll tell you. And it's the last time, I'll tell you. I'm going to help out an old friend who's in trouble. Keep undercover, I'll get me a job punching cattle. Oh, well, what am I going to do? I figured to put you at your old trade, Slim, in the blacksmith shop. Oh, no, not that again. Wouldn't you do it to help out an old friend? Well, it ain't so good, Tex. I lost my first wife helping an old friend. Well, you boys have been doing a good job putting the Pico stage line out of business. We've cut them down to their last coach. It won't be long now. What are we going to do with this one, Storm? Well, Red will take his men and take care of the coach when it goes through. You boys ride over and put the Red Bluff station out of business. Well, that's done, Snapper. Come to my office. Right. Join Snapper.
they got this face, too. Is that hurt badly? Lady's hurt pretty bad. Give me a hand. Sure. Got the operator too and smashed the equipment. Those bandits can't be far off. We better get rolling. Right. I'll hurry this outfit to town. We'll notify the sheriff. Slim, you take quiet flash, meet with the blacksmith shop. Up here. How's the relay station? There ain't none. Ain't no stagecoach, neither. What do you call that? Something missed. We gotta stop them before they get to town. Now he's too near town. Say, whoever that bird is, he can sure handle a stage. Let's tell Storm. Trouble, Miss Winter? Yes, we almost lost coach. Well, what happened? Where's Ed? He was shot while we were crossing Tuanga Pass. And that ain't all. They wrecked the Red Bluff station and they got the operator, too. Better not there right away. Who might you be? <laughs> there might be a sharpshooter's target the way some fellas back there blazed away at me. This man saved us when Ed was shot. Get a good look at any of them. They didn't get close enough for me to identify. Too bad. Pretty tough bunch of hombres. So far, I haven't been able to get a lead on any of them. Thanks again for helping us. What happened, Jane? We had another brush with the bandits. If it wasn't for this man... Oh, I'd like you to meet my foreman, Ace Hutchinson. Uh, howdy. Howdy. My name is Tex Lawton. I heard things were booming here, so I drifted in. Things are booming, but they're mostly guns. Yeah. <laughs> I heard them, too. If there's anything we can do to help you while you're in town, look us up at the stage office. Well, I... I'm looking for a job. You've come to the right place. I'm sure Ace can use help. I certainly can. Let's go somewhere we can have a quiet little talk. Be back at the office in a minute, Jane. Thank you. It's a shame, Miss Winters. Something will have to be done to stop these outrages. We've done everything we know how. Well, if I can be of any help, call on me. Thank you, Mr. Storm. Sit down. Tech doing here. Heard you's in trouble. 
Came to give you a lift, if I can. That's mighty fine, yeah. But it's a tough job. Four of our drivers got it already. This one today makes five. That coach who drove in's the last one left on the line. Have you any idea who's causing the trouble? Well, I got an idea. But since I haven't got any proof, there's nothing I can do about it. Then you do need help. Now, uh, I'm hard as a driver, right? Right. We'll go from there and see what happens. Thanks, Tex, for pitching in. Oh, forget it. What good are men if they can't lend each other a little help? Even though I've quit the law game, it's fun once in a while. See, as you may have gathered, as usual, I'm working without the local law. Yeah, I see. Well, I'd better get down to the blacksmith shop, see if Slim got that job. Slim? Yeah, still with me. Or at least he was when we left the relay station. I could have guessed you two were still together. <laughs> Say, has he still got that Arkansas mule? You mean Josephine? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, he's still got her. <laughs> How are they getting on? Well, she manages to lead him a merry chase. <laughs> <laughs> Josephine! Well! What are you doing there? Well! Josephine! Josephine, what's the matter with you? Trying to make a sled out of me? Howdy. Well, what do you want? Well, I'd like to get some non-skid shoes from a mule Josephine. <laughs> yeah, but the way you came in here, you better put them on yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I will put them on myself. <laughs> yes, sir. You know, if I like it here, I might work for you regular. Well, you might, yeah. Yeah, because back in Arkansas, where I come from, I was given up to be the best blacksmith in Benton County. Do tell. Yes, sir. All I need is a chestnut tree. <laughs> I'm the village blacksmith. I come from Arkansas. I put the shoes on horses and make the furnace roar. All the children passing who stop to look at me, I tell them that I use an anvil, not a chestnut tree. Whistle, work, and hustle. You've got plenty muscle. But oh, my back is sore. When I tell the story, the horses he and haul. For I'm the village blacksmith, and I come from Arkansas. Pappy put me working when I was but a kid. And I hey. worked in a stable. Ain't that the fellow that drove the stagecoach into town? Then I met the blacksmith, the sledge I learned to use. Sure is. It wasn't long before Unless he's I got a twin brother. on horses' shoes. I work hard all day. My wife takes all my pay and gives it to her maw. No more in the stable, a shoveling up the straw. For I'm the village blacksmith and I come from Arkansas. Don't know who his boss is. While he's shoeing horses, he's also shoeing flies. Hear the anvil thunder. Slim is such a wonder. Works hard for a living to help his mow-in-law. He's Slim Hunk of Pillar and he comes from Arkansas. You mean he's Hunk of Pillar, the one from Arkansas? Yes, he's Slim Hunk of Pillar and he comes from Arkansas. Got a hole in your sock. <laughs> <laughs> Stay with it, Slim. Hey! 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 Boys! Boys! Come over here! Come here! Come here! Who is he? Oh, that, that deacon name. Oh, deacon, huh? Well, he ain't really a deacon. He just likes to be called one. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Slim. Say, hey, you fellas are good. I want you to play at my benefit. Your benefit? Yes, I'm head of the entertainment committee. We're raising money to build a stone church as a monument to John Pico, founder of the town. And the widow Pico will add 2,000 to whatever we raise. And I need music players. <laughs> music? Yeah. Slim. Uh huh? If he wants music, we'll give it to him. We'll send for Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys. That's a good idea, good idea. Uh, who are they? Oh, just some friends of ours from 
Indian territory. Good. I'll go and tell the committee that you'll be as tickled as a rattler with a new button. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I miss my guess, those two birds will be singing a different song before long. If they're looking for trouble, they'll sure find it. <laughs> Say, Tex, that's a good idea, bringing Bob and the boys here. You're not preparing for trouble by any chance. Well, maybe. We pray about it. Oklahoma, we love you, you know. And we'll never forget your good people. And we'll praise you wherever we go. Where the mistletoe in the treetop. And the birds in their sweet melody. as good on that fiddle as you used to be with your guns. <laughs> yeah, but I like the sound of the fiddle much better, Tex. Yeah. That's what you think. When you get to pee cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say, Tex, by the way, what was that old number we used to do together? Oh, yeah, I remember. Calamity Kate. That's it. <laughs> Take off on that and see if we can still follow you. Good enough. Stop. There is a story I heard in Missouri, a gal who had made quite a name. She knew how to fight, she was real dynamite, now maybe you heard of her fame. Her reputation caused one big sensation, she knew how to handle her gun. She'll clean out your poke, she'll leave you dead broke, and laugh as you go on the run. So beware, beware, and take care, take care, Need my warning before, before it's too late. late. Before you depart, she will sure steal your heart. She's known as Calamity Kate. Now tell me what can they can. No warning before it's too late. The trigger is fast and you never will last if you meet Calamity Kate. Early one morning, without any warning, the sheriff had paid her a call. Calamity Kate, you and I have a date. Let's go to the old county hall. I won't be taken, she said, you're mistaken. I've never done wrong on the trail. She said, listen, Sheriff, with all of your men, you're not taking me down to jail. So beware. Oh, beware. Take care. Take care. The morning before it's too late. I'm no powder puff, so don't try to bluff. I'm known as calamity. Now beware. Beware. Take care. Take care. In the morning before it's too late. I'm telling you, pal, she's a gun cow. Look out for calamity. Well, there's the stage. How are you going to stop her this time? We're not, Red. This is going through. Going through? You never let one get by before. I know, but this is different. See that pack of fiddlers on it? Yeah, what about them? They're headed for Pico to raise money for a benefit. Yeah, church benefit. No, our benefit. Oh. and show them where the hotel is. We'll meet at the shop later. As good as done. Follow me, boys. <laughs> Let's go somewhere else and talk. I guess Tex has told you what's up here. Yes, he did. He said there's a gang trying to put your stage line out of business. Do you know who they are? Well, we got a pretty good idea. Let's crack down on them right now. Well, uh... Ace has to have evidence, Bob. A pretty clever gang covered up their tracks perfectly. Ace has no case without evidence. What do you mean you haven't any evidence? Didn't you tell me they tried to shoot you? <laughs> well, yeah, but uh, I'm only one. What's one witness against ten? You're right, I guess. So what do we do? 
Well, I, I don't know. Just keep our eyes open and guns loaded, I guess. Say, did you ask us to come play for church benefit or take part in the shooting bee? <laughs> <laughs> I just heard that. Oh, uh, Miss Winters. This is Bob Wills, a friend of mine. Oh, Texas talked of you. Good, I hope. <laughs> it was. I just heard that the governor will award the franchise to the stage making the best time between here and Deadwood. Is anyone else in this town that has a stagecoach? No one. Yeah, but whoever's behind this will have one. I understand Mr. Storm will enter a coach. Mr. Storm? I wonder if he... Oh, is. Tex, how can you suspect him? He offered to help me. He offered to help but he's entering the race, and he wants your franchise, whether you know it or not. When is the date? Next Monday. We've only one coach left, Gene. If anything should happen to that one. Yeah, if anything should happen to that one, we'll have to match fiddles. I'll bet on Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Get a good seat. What do you mean a buck too much? You pay ten dollars. Yes, sir. What do you want? Down the ball, headed row? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, glad to see you. How many, please? Eleven. Well, well, that's the biggest family we've had tonight. But we grow them bigger than that in Arkansas. Yes, sir. Anyone else now? They've come a long way to entertain you, folks. So give a hand to Bob Wills and his Texas Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> Let her go, Bob. Boys, that Lone Star Rag. in the West. Playboy Special. <laughs> is that your new suit? Yes, sir. This is my coming out suit. I'd say so. You better not sneeze or you'll be all the way out. <laughs> Say, it's a little lively for a church social, though, ain't it? Oh, it's all right. I'm broad. <laughs> I'll say you are. <laughs> Didn't you like? Better take care of the money, young man. Oh, yeah, Come the money, the money, the money. We need this money. It's benefit, you know. <laughs> I'm hoping that that gang, or even Storm, if he's in on it, might try to start something here tonight. Give us a good excuse to throw him in jail. But it'll be one way of keeping him out of the race. I'm beginning to think you don't like Mr. Storm. Oh, I like him all right. But he's a small boy in Texas. I was told that you never could tell when a storm would strike. <laughs> anyway, I don't like the way he parts his hair. <laughs> Good evening, friends. Oh, good evening, Mr. Storm. Good evening. Storm? Hmm. Did you get that, friends? He 
takes a lot for granted. Yeah. Well, I, I guess there's no harm speaking to him. <laughs> Our next number, Indian. Arkansas potatoes. I thought that a Pico was going to give her donation to Deacon Ames. Well, she didn't. She gave it to me. And in cash, too. Slim, with all that money, you're better in there than out. Well, she said I had an honest place. Yeah. Too honest. Hey, what are you doing out there? Yeah. I want to see the show. You stay here, Slim. With that suit you got on, I think I'd better bring the show out to see you. Oh, well, that would be better, wouldn't it? Or no, here, now. How do we do? Hey, we've taken in so much money that I padlocked the booth. <laughs> Where's Slim? He's in it. <laughs> <laughs> Come in here, boy, and join in with us on this. How about it? Well, that gal with the red dress on, some folks call a diner. Stole my heart away from me way down in Louisiana. Take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to marry. Take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to marry. Oh, it won't be long now. Sucks blossom, big bee gets honey, dark he raise cotton, white man gets money. Take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to marry. Take me back to Tulsa, I'm too young to marry.
Slim. Slim. Slim, are you all right? Are you all right, Slim? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm all right. Sure, it wasn't nothing to that. He's all right. Said he was. Bates with our coach, boys. It looks like we're all set now. And the bank wrappers from the widow's money in this sack should take care of tax. After we plant it, we'll get word to the sheriff. Come on. Hello, Bates. Hello, Storm. Where'd you get the coach? What do you care as long as I got it? Listen, Bates, we've got a fellow around here by the name of Tex we got to get rid of so he can't drive. That'll be easy. What's it worth to you? For the whole job, I'll pay $500. Just consider the job done. All right, go on. I'll look you up later. You're framing Tex. Why use him and pay $500? The law might miss, but Mule Bates won't. And we're in the clear. Well, here's the proof, folks. We've caught him red-handed. Tex stole that benefit money. I just found the bank wrappers in his saddlebags. Why, that's impossible, Sheriff. You must be mistaken. Why would a man who helped you raise the money want to steal it? Why, it's as plain as day to me. He was trying to build up a state for himself. No, Sheriff, it don't make sense. Well, it makes sense to me. First, he sold himself to the stage line. They've been having trouble there. Something else he's got to account for. Yes, and then he sold himself to the sheriff to get on the good side of the law. Then he helped me with my entertainment. Just not to help the church, but to help himself. Then when all the money was in the box office, he locked it up so nobody else could take it. Then he took part in the entertainment to throw off suspicion while his gang rode in and stole the receipts. <laughs> It's an open and shut case. After hearing all of that, it looks pretty bad for Tex. This has me puzzled, but I still think Storm has something to do with it. I think you're wrong. You just heard him defend Tex. You don't hang a man and defend him in the same breath. Say, he might be working with Storm. I can't figure it out. I gotta do some quick figuring. Here he comes. And not only did he steal the money we gave the church, but he's trying to get the stage line from Ace. He's pulling the wool over his eyes by sparking his girl in the hills every day. And the going will really get tough across that stretch. The going will be tough all... You know, Tex, it's really nice of you to take a chance and drive my race for me. I'd surely lose without you. Miss Winters, I'm afraid you'll lose this race, even with me. Why? The Storm Gang is powerful. We've just got to win. I will do our best. You're a real friend, Tex. Thanks. Oh, if you don't mind, I... I think I'll stick around here a while, Miss Winter. I may run on to something. Well, I'll meet you back in town. Thanks again for helping me. Who are you looking at? So am I. I've been hunting you high and low. Now, what's up, Slim? The sheriff found the bank wrappers to that stolen money. That's good. Where'd he find them? In your saddlebags. Hmm. That's not so good. The sheriff is hunting for you now. Does Ace know about this? Know about it? He believes it. Ah, you must be wrong, Slim. 
No siree, not only Ace, but Bob too. I tell you, the whole town's against you. How about you, Slim? Well, I'm against you. No, this is serious. They're looking for you. Let them look. <sighs> Say, that don't look one of the winter's coaches. Oh, Tex, I'm telling you, you're in trouble. Let's find out who it is. Listen, you know enough people to hang you now without hunting for more. Oh. Well, it's your neck, not mine. Hi-ho, Josephine! Well, well, if it ain't my old friend, Mule Bates. You? Yeah. You never expected to see me again, did you, Mule? Or hoped you wouldn't? Tell me. What brings you to these parts? Oh, just traveling a little, Tex. Stop stalling, Mew. Get down. What's the game? To race tomorrow, I'm to drive it. Been stripped of its heavy rigging. That's right. Makes it faster. Always cheating, eh, Mew? Never learn. When did you get out of the penitentiary? Six weeks ago. Served my time. I'm free. And you're aiming to go right back when you tie up with that storm gang. Why don't you think of your little boy? How is he, Tex? Oh, he's fine. My mother's raising him like one of her own. He thinks you're dead. Saving a train, not robbing it. Thanks, Tex. Besides being a good lawman once, you've been a good friend. Say, part of my deal was to gun down a Tex. It's you. It's you they want to get out of the way. Storm? Sure, so you can't drive. I've got to beat Storm somehow. And I'll help you. I won't go through with it. Thanks, Mew. But wait a minute. If I quit the deal, some of the others will gun you down. I have an idea. I think maybe it'll work. It's a deal, Tex. Anything you say. All right, get rolling to town. I'll explain it to you as we go. OK. job is to keep me covered. Don't try to explain it, Bob. You know as well as I that Tex came here to double-cross me. But wait a minute, Ace. Tex, I want to talk to you. Far away. I will, with both barrels. Hey, what are you driving at? I've heard of ex-lawmen who turn crooked, but I never thought you would. Is this a joke, or...? Have you lost your senses? It's no joke, and I've just found my senses. Aside from other things, you've been making up to Miss Winters, figuring to steal her stage line. Wait a minute, Ace. You leave Miss Winters out of this. All right. But if you're smart, Tex, you'll get out of town right now, because the sheriff's looking for you. When a man loses his head as completely as you have, anything I'd say wouldn't help. Hey, Tex. Boy, it does look bad for you. Get out of town. Quick. We'll meet at my camp. All right, Bob. Dollar, I'd put a slug in that fella's back myself. Well, here's three dollars, so you can each take a shot. All right, get going. Back in the office. A fine sheriff you were. <laughs> 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 
Tech sure was a big day for you, old boy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things happened, I'm telling you. Well, don't blame me. I tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen. Oh, I heard you, Slim. Well, you might have heard me, but you didn't heed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll heed you the next time. Well, if I thought you would, I'd tip you off to something else. You would? Yeah. All right, Slim, go ahead. What is it? Miss Winters. What do you mean? Ace. He loves her. She loves him, too. Why, whenever they're together, they're always looking at each other like a couple of dying ducks in a thunderstorm. like you said the wrong thing. By George Bob, I believe he's in love with her. I could have told you that a long time ago. Well, I'll be a bull weevil's adenoid. <laughs> 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 Don't let it get you down, Tex. We're with you. I'll always love you and I'll make you happy. If you will only say the same. But if you leave to love another, Sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Hello, boy. Yeah, <laughs> I feel better now. <laughs> yeah, just like a mustard plaster. Feels good to get it off your chest. <laughs> <laughs> well, much obliged to get tar, boys. Uh, Bob, I have a little business to attend to in town. I know it's trouble, Tex. Let me go along. No, thanks. Thank you, Bob, but this is a one-man job. Uh, come on, Slim. Wait a minute. I thought you said this was a one-man job. It is. Come on. <laughs> Bob, keep my wrinkle box for me, will you? You wait right here, Slim. This is a spooky deal, Tex. I've reached a point where I don't trust nobody. We've gone this far. Can't stop now. Hold the horse. All right, I'll hold him. But I promise you one thing, if any shooting starts, somebody's liable to have to hold me. We'll keep you covered in case anybody hears a shooting. 
What's the matter with you, Bates? You seem jittery. Come on, pull yourself together. I'll get him. Be sure you do. We want to see you do it. You see, Snapper? The law didn't catch up with Tex, but Bates will. That 500. We pay me off now. Right now. Doctor. Mule's on the riverbank. He's been shot. If he lives, we've got the goods on storm. Are all the men spotted along the way? Yes. I fixed the wheel, too. We should be a cinch to win with Tex out of the way. Where on earth is Tex? That's what I'd like to know. How's Mule? He's all right. That's why I'm looking for Tex. He talked. Why, those... Tex, hey, look! Ace is going to drive. Why, he never drove a six up in his life. I'm going along. How? I'll show you. Franchise. I'm afraid something will happen to you. There's more at stake for me than just that franchise. I'm going through with it. I wish Tex was here. I wish you'd forget him. Driver! Go! Ready! Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute! Uh, give me your gun. Uh, thanks. Oh. Ready again! Let's 
take the shortcut and meet him in... a cripple of wheel horse. He did make it. It'll be hard to catch now, but we've got to stop him.
out of here. Just a minute. The sheriff wants to see you. What about? Mule Bates. Mule Bates is dead. That's where you're wrong. Mule Bates is alive. He's confessed everything to the doctor. Oh, Tex, we won! We won! But where's Ace? He asked me to drive for him. And that trunk got caught. Come on, slim, slim. Come on, come on. You all right, Slim? Yeah, I'm all right. Why, well, George, I know how a sardine feels now. Well, that's fine. You sure you're all right, huh? Yeah, I'm all right, I tell you. I'm all right. All right. Suppose he is all right? Sure is all right. Said he was. <laughs> Forgive me, Tex, for being so dumb. Skip it, Ace. Good luck. See you again someday. Uh, say, Tex, in case I want you to play another benefit for me, where will I find you? Where are you heading? <laughs> uh, Deacon, I'm Oklahoma bound with Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, Goodbye, Tex. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye Bob. Deacon. So long. Oklahoma's the home of the Indian. Let's be well the soul and the Hospitality is always abundant, and to you we will always be loyal. I declare we love it, we're crazy about it, Oklahoma we love.